Je so I'm often asked in my decorating, renovating <laughs> videos how I'm able to move objects up and down uh, in the game while keeping the download uh, CC free. It's possible thanks to a very uh, neat uh, mod, Debug uh, Nabla from NRAS and it helps a lot when I'm decorating CC free, star item free like I'm doing it right now. For instance, for the Bunch family, I uh, imagine it's the type of family where, you know, things tend to pile up, like literally, and the mod helps make the house look more lived in, not that the family needs much help there. <laughs> so the mod, uh, I think it was made by Twatlan. It's it's available on, on the NRAS uh, page. I'm going to put the link on the on description box below. So it's a mod with uh, a lot of terrific options. And But today we're, we're only just going to tackle the moving objects up, down one. And mostly it allows you to place indirectly items that could not be placed on a surface, like on a surface. I'm going to explain a bit more, <laughs> no worries. So once you have installed the mod in your mods folder, you have the different options directly in game uh, to move the chosen item up, down, delta, or undo. So let's take surfaces of different standard heights in the game, a coffee table, a dining table, and a counter. The object we are going to move there is a plant that usually cannot be put on a surface. We need to type a cheat, move objects on, so you don't need a mod for this one. Then we can put the plant in, like inside the table's encounter. Then we switch to leave mode, so we are with Tintin for this experiment. And so here, for the two different tables, we are actually going to use the delta option. Um, the delta tab is to customize the height you want to have your object uh, move up or down to. So let's click on the plant. We choose Enras, then Debug Enabler, then Move. As I've said, we're going to choose delta there. Then let's type the custom height. Here it's uh, 0.5. Then same process for the dining table 0.8 here. As for the counter, it's actually the default height there. So either choose delta and type 1, or like I'm doing there, just click on up. Clicking on down, it would cover the same uh, height. So here to have it back down, I can either use that or I could also use undo, which I'm going to, to do that. It's just going to cancel the action. For the dining table, I'm going to type delta and minus 0.8 because it's the height we have there. And then I'm going to do something a bit different for the coffee table. Let's create a new uh, DIY um, piece of furniture. So having the plant up 0.5, then the table 0.5. So the plant is actually counter height now and the table 0.5 and then I'm going to have a coffee table under that coffee table and voila, a new piece of furniture. <laughs> so depending on what you want the object to be, the heights are going to vary. And for instance, for a bed to have a plush toy there, I'm going to have it at 0.7 and then move the bed because the plush toy was a bit too small to do it directly there. So I'm moving the bed afterward. So what items can actually be moved uh, with using that mod? A lot of them. Um, but then it also depends on what you're comfortable with. Uh, for instance, let's have those mirrors be on top of a desk, like a vanity. The issue here is that the desk is going to be blocking the access to the mirrors. So then the sims cannot use them, even though the interaction is still there. So sometimes they might try to do that autonomously and then get stuck there, not being able to, to use them. But if you put them elsewhere, like for instance there at uh, the bench house, the mirror is usable, even though she's kind of floating, but then she's going to go back to the 
right level by, by yourself just after. Another interactive uh, object, the TV, so you can actually have it on an upper level like that and it's still usable, no issues. We can even spice it up a bit using a, a video game console here and Tintin can still play his favorite game without issues. We can also stack up, like for instance, two columns uh, together like that so that there is no more the annoying gap, you know, between the column and the upper floor. We can also design a bit of a whimsical corner for the kids at the local library, having those tree-shaped uh, bookshelves on top of old books. So both uh, bookshelves are not uh, reachable, but they are other for the Sims use around. So you might wonder why it's uh, supposed to be CC free while I'm using a mod to move uh, the objects up and down. The thing is that you need the mod to move the objects, but once they have been placed, you don't need the mod anymore. So here, let's remove all Enra's uh, mods I have from my game and then launch the game. And we are back at the Bunch's uh, house where the items I've placed using the bug enabler are still there. I don't have the option to have them up, down or uh, undo what I've done before, but uh, they are the usual option there. So if you download a house where items have been placed using that mod, but you don't have the mod, the items are going to still be where they have been placed as long as you don't delete or remove them. I'm trying to remember if I've covered everything I wanted to cover about that mm, part of the mod. Um, if I have more input <laughs> or if I see posts uh, or videos about that uh, topic, I'll put links in the description box below. What else? What else? Uh, I think that's about it. Hope it's helpful and I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt!